Ryder Cup Series. Where today we are at Rainbow Road Speedway, a 1.75 mile track located in Idaho. Let's look at your drives to watch for, presented by Leopold Coleman. Kevin Harvick starting on the pole and said that they made some adjustments so that the car has more grip on the bottom. And Denny Hamlin, very fast on the corners and fast on the short run, he said. So let's see if he is right about that. Now this is going to be a 12 lap race. Track temperature is 40 degrees. Not a very hot track temperature. Let's see how that causes the racing. One, one winner, 19 cars. Now let's look at your Starting positions, Kevin Harvick on the pole, followed by Chase Elliott, Martin Truex Jr., Denny Hamlin, in row three, Kyle Busch, Brad Keselowski. Kyle Larson and Alex Bowman round out your top ten. And then Dylan Leonard Jr. and Matt Kenseth starting towards the back. They do not have very good qualifying runs today. Now, drivers, start your engines! The green flag flies in the air for Kevin Harvick. Oh, Truex slides to the grass. Saves it. What a save. Now, as exiting turn two. Oh, Kyle Busch the wall hard. Martin Truex Jr. gets collected as well. Martin Truex Jr. was just about to head down pit road. Kyle Busch looks like he had a mechanical problem. I do not think that that would, was a driver error. You could see smoke coming out of the car before he even hit the wall. Yeah, I think we're done. No, no, no. We can take oh, let's look at the replay. Uh... Yeah, on I this can first see. lap, looks like Martin Truex Jr. just gets forced it. below, slides to the grass. What a save, cuts off the nose of Chase Elliott. They got straightened him out, and then exiting turn two for the second lap. Kyle Busch into the wall, Denny Hillman cut in front of Martin Truex Jr., and that caused him to get very loose and right into the wall hard. But it seems like Martin Truex Jr. is going to be can try to fix all that damage in the garage and try to get back out there on the track by the time the caution is lifted. Because cars will be, some cars might head down pit road. And Kyle Busch is going to be out. He's done for the day. Kevin Harvey comes down. Chase Elliott comes down. And Truex is back out, starting towards the back, next to Kurt Busch. Now let's get ready for the green flag to fly back in the air. But Chase Elliott and to the back, they all have fresh tires and can make it to the end. Now, the green flag flies in the air at Rainbow Road. <laughs> Denny Hamlin. Brad Kozlowski looks at the outside. He the lap. Denny Hamlin trying to gain something. Brad Kozlowski looks just following his trail. Oh, Brad Kozlowski sli slides up the track. Oh, we got a crash. Kyle Larson. Clint Boyer with a hard hit on the wall. Red flag is out immediately on the front stretch and at the exit of turn two. William Byron has some minor damage. Kyle Larson, I don't, that does not look like a blown tire. That just looks like him getting out of control, completely loose. Clint Boyer took a hard hit into the wall. Thankfully, he's okay. As now we'll be restarting with only a couple laps to go. Three five miles back in the air for Kevin Harvick. On the side of the racetrack, William Byron around here made contact. Looks like William Byron just slid up the racetrack, got in a run, bleeding. They both went up. Alright, she comes out. We're gonna be restarting a NASCAR overtime. Two laps to go. Two laps to go. Bounce back right at one bank. Alright, bud, let's do some one more lap. Keep on the bottom, get the bottom. And now heading into the five corners. Alright, bud, he's not gonna be able to get there in time. He's not gonna be able to get there in time. Just watch if he gets run. Just watch if he gets run. And the final corners, Kevin Harvick is going to win at Rainbow Road Speedway. As we look at the final two laps, what happened? Unbelievable. Munchie Sierra gave it all he got to try to get that second position, wasn't able to. Kevin Harvick is going to burn it down. We're going to finish with results. Chase Elliott, Martin Truex Jr., Joey Pagano. Eric Arnold will round out your top five. Alex Bowman, Eric Jones, Denny Hamlin, William Byron, Matt Kenseth round out your top ten. Good finish for Matt Kenseth and Kevin Harvick. We have a celebrate here because of DNF. So look at our finishing the results. Now they affect the point standings. 
Kurt Busch in the lead, 48 points. Man, that top five, Martin Truex Jr., Ryan Blaney, Kyle Busch, and Kyle Larson, all in a three-point range for the lead points. Kurt Busch has, though. Busch Brothers doing pretty good this season so far. We're almost halfway through the regular season. As we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.